गीता एज यस माता जी यस यस Thank you so much. Fantastic. Okay, so um, dear devotees, welcome uh, to chat session, and I seek your blessings for this service. It is wonderful to be in your association again, and today we will continue our um, uh, discussion of chapter two Bhagavad Gita and text forty one in bit more detail. But first, we will recite the Mangla Charan prayers, and I hope uh, you can join me behind the muted mics. ूतले स्वयं कदाम ददाती स्वदाति वंदेहां श्री गुरो श्री युता पद कमल श्री गुरो वैष्णवांश श्री रूप सागर जात सहगना रघुनाथन्वित सजीव साइत सवदूत पिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पदा सहगना ललिता श्री विशाखान्वित हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेशा गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते सप्त कांचन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचाकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवा सदी गौर भक्त विनुंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते राधानाथ स्वामी नीतिनामिने नमा ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नीतिनामिने मुखम करोति वाचालम पंगुम लंघते गिरी यहाँ वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारण परमानंद माधव श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य ईश्वर Om Tat Sat Hari Krishna. So, um, if you remember, like uh, last time when we uh, had covered verse twenty-seven, uh, we had done some reflective exercise, and that was really good uh, for me because I could um, uh, get to hear from you and your reflections, and I get to learn a lot also that way. So, my humble request is, if you want a pen and paper or jot down, jot down a few key points or. something that we discussed today that really um, resonates with you or something that really want you want to take home as a message uh, you can always share and we can also leave time for question and answer i'll try my try my best to finish on time uh, which is 8:30 and then there is a time for question and answer till 8:45 which is when we end so we are on to the third section uh, chapter 2 and we were already was 39 and 40 are covered so in verse 39 um, uh, krishna requested arjuna to understand buddhi yoga and verse 40 uh, in this buddhi yoga there is no loss or diminution and results results are everlasting that's what's covered and so today's verse is verse number 41 i will recite व्यवसायात्मक बुद्धि कुरुनंदन बहुशाखान बुद्धयोसायिना ट्रांसलेशन एंड परपोर्ट बाय शिल प्रभुपाद शिल प्रभुपाद की जय दो आर ऑन दिस पाथ आर रेजुलेट इन पर्पस एंड द एम इज वन ओ बिलविड चाइल्ड ऑफ द कुरुस the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many branched uh, purport by shila prabhupad and shila prabhupad ki jai a strong faith that by krishna consciousness one will be elevated to the highest perfection of life is called vyavasayatmika intelligence the chaitanya charitamrita madhya 22.62 states श्रद्धा श्रद्धा शब्दे विश्वास कहे निश्चय कृष्णे भक्ति कैले सर्व कर्म कृतहया सो ऑन दिस पेज देर आर टू पैराग्राफ्स एंड वी कैन हैव टू वॉलेंटियर्स टू रीड दिस फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ एंड देन द सेकंड पैराग्राफ इफ यू लाइक 
Anyone would like to read? Yes, Mataji, please. Yes, please. Go ahead, Mataji. Thank you. Sorry, Mataji, one second. Faith means unflinching trust in something sublime. When one is engaged in the duties of Krishna consciousness, he need not act in relationship to the material world with obligations to family, tradition, humanity, or nationality. Fruitive activities are engagements of one's reaction from past good or bad deeds. When one is awake in Krishna consciousness, he need to no longer endeavor for good results in his activities. When one is situated in Krishna consciousness, all activities are on the absolute plane, for they are no longer subject to dualities like good and bad. The highest perfection of, the highest perfection of Krishna consciousness is renunciation of the material conception of life. This state is automatically achieved by progressive Krishna consciousness. Hare Krishna. Very good. Thank you, Mataji. Someone would like to read this last uh, six lines on this page? Yeah, I can read, Mataji. Yes, please, Mataji. Thank you. Um, the resolute purpose of the person in Krishna consciousness is based on knowledge. Vasudeva Sarvam Itisa Mahatma Su Durlabha. A person in Krishna consciousness is the rare good soul who knows perfectly that Vasudeva or Krishna is the root of all manifested causes. As by watering the root of a tree, one automatically distributes water to the leaves and the branches. So by acting in Krishna consciousness, one can render the highest service to everyone, namely self, family, society, country, humanity, etc. If Krishna is satisfied by one's actions, then everyone will be satisfied. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna, thank you so much. Um, okay, I'll just read this slide uh, considering the time. Service in Krishna consciousness is, however, best practice under the able guidance of a spiritual master who is a bona fide representative of Krishna, who knows the nature of the student and who can guide him to act in Krishna consciousness. As such, to be well-versed in Krishna consciousness, one has to act firmly and obey the representative of Krishna, and one should accept the instruction of the bona fide spiritual master as one's mission in life. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur instructs us in his famous prayers for the spiritual master as follows. Yasya prasada bhagavat prasado Yasya prasada by satisfaction of the spiritual master, the Supreme Personality of Godhead becomes satisfied, and by not satisfying the spiritual master, there is no chance of being promoted to the plane of Krishna consciousness. I should therefore meditate and pray for his mercy three times a day and offer my respectful obeisances unto him, my spiritual master. The whole process, however, depends on perfect knowledge of the soul beyond the conception of the body, not theoretically, but practically when there is no longer a chance for sense gratification manifested in fruitive activities one who is not firmly fixed in mind is diverted by various types of productive acts. Srila Prabhupada ki jai, wonderful, wonderful puppet there. And I'll read the translation again. Those who are on this path are resolute in purpose and their aim is one. O beloved child of the Kurus, the intelligence of those who are irresolute is many branched. So in this verse, uh, dear devotees, uh, there is the theme that we are looking at the further features of uh, Buddha Yoga. And also there are um, uh, three key points. Uh, so a strong faith that by Krishna consciousness, one will be elevated to the highest perfection of life is called Vyavasayatmika Buddhi. So Buddhi means intelligence and Vyavasayatmika means one-pointed, one-pointed focus, resolute and determination. Knowledge of the soul and Vasudev is the foundation of resolute determination of faith. 
and there is one beautiful analogy that watering the roots satisfies all the parts of the tree. He, and such a person, he has no obligations to the material world who has taken to this wonderful process of pure devotional service. And he does not endeavor for fruitive activities and he's not subjected to dualities like good or bad. So this is the result of following the Vyavasayatmika Buddhi. Uh, when the buddhi yoga at its highest stage is nothing but bhakti yoga, which is the highest yoga. So if one follows this, then satisfying everyone, the family, the society, humanity in general, and then he is not subjected to dualities. Uh, because uh, yasmin tushte jagat tushtam, if we uh, satisfy Krishna, everyone is satisfied, right? So uh, th that's what the first uh, key point is about. I hope uh, it's uh, you have understood. And we will see this further, both the two points. And then the last point is the most important where Srila Prabhupada has uh, put a lot of importance in the purport, which we'll try and cover. The second point is the intelligence of those who is irresolute, which means avyavasayatmika buddhi, because that is many branched. And why that happens? It's because of the distractions. The world we live in, the material world, is full of allurements. The Maya's job is to take us away from bhakti and uh, try and allure us towards wealth, opulence, enjoyment. So for this fruity wax, one gets diverted. But one should renunciate such material concept of life by progressive Krishna consciousness. Slowly, steadily, one has to take up this process first. And the best practice uh, of service to Krishna is service to Guru. One should accept the instruction of the bona fide spirit spiritual master as one's mission in life. And in the purport, beautifully, the prayer Srila Prabhupada has mentioned, Yasya Prasada Bhagavad Prasado. Yasya Prasada Nagati Kutopi. So uh, we can see here that, uh, oh, I don't know why this is happening. One moment, okay, this is moving, okay. So this, um, we can see here that uh, this verse is saying that one-pointed intelligence uh, focused on the goal is not deviating to anything, but people who are distracted, their intelligence is many branch. Now we can see here, this person has so many distraction. There are so many signs and symbols are here. I don't even know all this social, social media, which I do not use. The symbols, there is a, what is called as Twitter. There is um, a, a lot of other things, right? So when somebody is just completely, there is so many things happening here. And this person is completely resolute, one-pointed in his uh, goal. So, and this uh, can be applied to anything actually, you know, so this verse, if we think about this uh, goal and Vyavasayat Mika Bhutti, it can be, you, you can point it towards, say, if you are typing a document or someone's watching a movie, someone's preparing for exam. Um, so these are the material uh, examples, but then the spiritual examples are chanting the holy name. So if we are chanting and we cannot be looking at the mobile, then that becomes a vyavasayat mika buddhi, it is distraction. And uh, for example, we are studying or reading Bhagavad Gita. So at the same time, we cannot be uh, getting completely diverted by social media or something else. So uh, nowadays, even the students face this uh, challenge, I feel, because uh, there is so much available, the games and everything on gadgets. Uh, but in our times, I know that there were only two, three things like study or play. And play was also not on uh, the mobiles. It was with friends outside mainly. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that, uh, say, for example, if we take an uh, example of uh, the Archman Cup, when we have to wash the bhoga, paraphernalia, what we do is we immerse it in tamarind water uh, so that when it's immersed and soaked for some time, you take it out, wash it a little bit with soap and it shines. But for example, if the cup is half dipped in the tamarind water, what would happen? The other half that is not immersed in water will remain black. It is not going to be uh, looking so shiny even if you wash it because it never got immersed fully. 
So similarly, if we don't immerse our mind completely in, in an activity that we are doing, we cannot get complete benefit out of it. So whether we are reading, studying uh, books of Srila Prabhupada, chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, we need to focus in it. And there are many obstacles, uh, you know, nowadays. Um, and Maya will always allure us, uh, the main problem is social media these days also. So um, uh, this is uh, going to take us away. And for uh, that, so even there is one nice example of a honeybee. What does a honeybee do when it is, uh, it, it wants nectar, right? Honeybee wants uh, uh, the juice, the rasa from the flower, honey. So when the honey goes into a big garden, it's not looking at the flowers or fruits or plants or pathways or fountains. It goes straight to that uh, uh, flower and then he gets what it wants. Uh, and, and, you know, that's the whole purpose. So uh, similarly, coming back to the point, the purpose of Vedas is to know Krishna. And uh, it's not uh, like, uh, say, fruitive activities of going back to heaven. Uh, even in 15.15 in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says that the purpose is to know me. Vedescha sarve aham eva vedyo vedanta krit ved videva chaham. So uh, we know that there are uh, different yogas and uh, connecting. Yoga means connecting to Supreme God. And you can connect either by performing work, by meditation, by knowledge, or by your intelligence, which is buddhi yoga. But what happens is that uh, that buddhi yoga, which uh, is completely uh, at an advanced stage where there is no detachment or there is, uh, it is completely done with the knowledge of the Supreme, it becomes Bhakti Yoga. So highest sense uh, Buddhi Yoga is Bhakti Yoga, connecting with Supreme Lord with intelligence by performing devotional service and acting in Krishna consciousness. And for that, we need uh, one-pointed Vyavasayatmika Buddhi. Here we can see this person. I mean, this looks more nice, the picture, but this is what is the right one, that this person is completely focused. And here this person is doing too many things at a time. There is so many things going on in his mind while doing... Uh, so it is many branch. This is a Bahu Shakha. So that is not, uh, that is not uh, good at all uh, for our devotional service. And there is a nice story in Mahabharata past time that when uh, Dronacharya was testing all his students, Pandavas and Kauravas, he uh, put imitation bird on the tree and he told them to, uh, you know, uh, aim at the eye of this bird and uh, the arrow should hit the eye only. So he, he asks all the students one by one and he asks them that what do you see as they are aiming? They said, we see the tree, we see the branch and we see so many things here. And uh, But then they all failed. And uh, what happens is one by one, uh, all of them came and, um, and then Arjuna comes. And uh, so Drona asks the same questions to Arjuna that what do you see? And uh, Arjuna says, I see the eye of the bird. And he says, do you see the tree? He says, no. Do you see the branch? No. Do you see the head of the bird? No. So all I see is eye of the bird. So that is what is Vyavasaya Atmika Buddhi, one-pointed focus. Because his aim is to aim the eye. He is not looking at any other distractions of the world. So when he hits, he, he gets to his aim. And uh, th that's why Dronacharya knew that Arjun is the best archer because he is so completely focused in his goal. He has Vyavasayatmi Kabuti. So uh, there is also a beautiful story. And uh, in 11, 9, 13 in Bhagavad Gita, it is said that there is this um, Brahmana. He was absorbed um, in making a, a sharp, uh, his arrow, um, very sharp and then there is this king is passing by but he still doesn't notice because when the king passes by what happens is that uh, there is a big procession it's ex ex extravagance isn't it because there are so many people along with the king and the elephants and the um, horses and everything passing by but he doesn't notice at all because he's so absorbed he does not even hear the cattle drums and musical instruments because he's completely absorbed in uh, doing his activity. 
So uh, these are just a few of the examples we can take uh, from the past times uh, that how um, uh, we have a Sayatmika Buddhi is uh, it's all about uh, being focused in your aim. So now coming back to the main point of this uh, uh, verse is Srila Prabhupada has mentioned that, okay, we've understood what is Veva Sayatmika Buddhi, what are the distractions and allurements, which means a Veva Sayatmika. Uh, this is not the right Buddhi. But the best way to focus this intelligence is in the service of the Lord. And watering the roots means we are satisfying all the parts of the tree, like that if we satisfy Krishna through serving our Guru, we will be serving the humanity at large. And the best practice of service uh, to Krishna is service to Guru. So let's see, um, how does, uh, what is the basis of uh, this one-pointed focus and resolute? The basis is uh, the faith. One should have a faith first of all. And uh, the faith is very much essential for advancement in devotional service to Krishna. And that faith comes by hearing, uh, reading, and uh, taking instructions of the knowledge of soul and Vasudev, that we are not this body, we are the soul, right? In the first, this chapter of Bhagavad Gita, the first lesson that we have learned, right? 2.11 to 30, and our relationship with the Lord Vasudeva, Krishna, who is the basis, the Sarva Karana Karanam. Knowing this knowledge is, uh, is, is most important to have faith. And with faith, we will have this uh, one pointed focus. And this knowledge, who will give us? This comes from bona fide spiritual master in disciplic succession. So these are the steps. One has to surrender and accept instructions of Guru and make it the mission of life, as Srila Prabhupada says in the purport. And this Guru is the representative of Krishna. Mercy of Krishna flows through the instructions of Guru. Krishna says in Srimad Bhagavatam, Aham Bhakta Paradhino. We want Krishna to remember us as servant of our Gurudev. And that will happen when we really serve our Guru, his Vani, his instructions. And when Guru is pleased with our service, then Krishna is pleased. And that is the goal of our life to please the Lord. So these are the steps that um, we need this Buddhi, for that we need faith. Faith comes from knowledge. Knowledge is given by Guru. And serving that Guru and pleasing Krishna is the goal of our life. So um, we can see there are a lot of uh, things. I was listening today to very nice um, class uh, by Amarendra Prabhu. And he says that one senior Vaishnava was mentioning in his class that um, His Holiness Radhanath Swami many years ago, in late 80s, he took Yatra to Navdvip Dham. Navdeep Dham, it is uh, Mayapur, at that time with uh, just few devotees because it was uh, many, many years ago. Now the yatras are very <laughs> large in numbers. I also went in 2017 to Mayapur. It's wonderful yatra. So uh, this yatra, they all got into a small temple and Maharaj uh, took uh, these uh, devotees um, and they all uh, got to this small temple. Then uh, they, um, uh, Maharaj told him that uh, someone asked Maharaj, why we have come here to the small temple? What is the purpose of our visit? So uh, Maharaj said, yes, this is uh, Navdeep Dham and temple is very powerful. Uh, the deities are very beautiful. All is true. But the main reason I got all of you devotees here is to have the darshan of this pujari. So take darshan of this pujari. Why? Because this pujari was initiated by his Gurudev at the age of 11. And uh, this Guru Dev gave him only one instruction and told him to take care of these deities. He gave him the set of deities and he said, you take care of these deities all your life. And now this Pujari Ji is 81 years old. So it means that it's been 70 years. He has been in the same temple doing the same service every single day to the same set of deities. 
this level of consistency and this level of surrender to the instruction of his guru is what pleases Krishna. And then Maharaj said that uh, this service is uninterrupted and unmotivated because no one comes here. So he's selflessly doing it. It is not like that it's a huge temple and he's doing this service and then people will come. No, it's not like that. He's just doing this for the pleasure of his Gurudev. So he's doing so many offerings a day. He's bathing, dressing them, doing all the artis, cooking, making garlands for them, singing, sweeping the temple, keeping the temple queen, clean, giving charnamrita to devotees, buying fruits, flowers, vegetables for the deities, and also putting deities to sleep. So he was waking with the deities and putting them to sleep and then uh, taking rest himself. Every single day, he was giving a whole life to one instruction of his Gurudev. So accepting uh, superior Vaishnava and surrendering uh, through the thoughts, words and deed, which is called Anugatya principle, this is highly appreciated by Krishna. And even it's mentioned in Gaulila by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that he appreciates this so much. And there are so many, many examples in the scriptures that um, Raghunath Das, uh, he, he was sold out to Swarup Damodar. And hence, he was called by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, Raghunath Das uh, Goswami was called Swarupera Raghunath. And Narottam Das Thakur, he surrendered his life at the feet of Loknath Goswami, another brilliant example. One more example we find is Kuresh. He had surrendered to the lotus feet of Sripat Ramanujacharya. So in fact, what happened is once Sripat Ramanujacharya told um, uh, his servant, his very dear servant, that pack all the deities because we have to go for a very, very long trip. So put all the deities in one bag. So the servant packed Sri Vigraha or Sri Ramanujacharya in a bag, his deities, and also he put the padukas of Ramanujacharya, the wooden slippers, in the same bag. So he was highly chastised when Ramanujacharya saw this. He was perplexed and he said, what are you doing? You are putting my slippers with Thakurji, uh, with the deities. This is offensive. What are you doing? So this uh, very dear servant, he smiled and said, Gurudev, you said put all the deities in one bag. Thakurji are your deities and your Paduka is my deities. Therefore, I put all the deities together. So this kind of Guru Nishtha and Ananyata is highly appreciated by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all the Acharyas. And um, uh, there was one uh, uh, very, very elevated this devotee King Kulashekhar, he wrote this Mukundamala Stotra. So you can see that uh, number 25 words on the screen. And here on this, we will see that Vritya word is used uh, seven times. So the shloka is, Majjanmana phalam idam madukaita bhare madprarthaniya madanugrahe shaiva tvadbritya britya paricharaka britya 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 sya britya itimam smara lokanatha. So here the translation is that uh, what King Kulashekar is saying is that my lord. If you are pleased with me, my only desire is, please give me the fruit of my love. Please remember me not as me, but remember me as, he says, seven times a servant. So he says that, which, that I am the servant of the servant of your servant, like that seven times of the servant. So basically he says, O Lokanath, master of the universe, uh, enemy of Madhu and Kaitaba, uh, please uh, remember me as servant of seven times. And in this mood, he's saying that remember me like this and remember me as servant of my Gurudev, servant of a high class Vaishnava. This is how you remember me. Then my life is successful. So in that mood of humility, King Kulashtrekar prays in connection to his uh, master, his Guru. So we can see here that Guru's position is so high. Guru is heavy, not by weight, but his words. They are the heaviest. The words 
our instructions one has to take to heart and we have to aspire uh, to do this uh, no matter what because that's the way forward that's the advancement of our spiritual life and there is nothing higher than this in life you know uh, there is a beautiful uh, shlo uh, the shloka i think from chaitanya charitamrita bhakta pada dhuli bhakta pada jal bhakta bhukta avashesha eteni mahabal so the um, dust of the lotus feet of uh, your bhakta lord the uh, the charnamrita of their uh, feet the water and their remnants whatever they have eaten what is uh, left behind these three things will infuse bhakti in our heart if we take this remnants and um, Uh, th there are many many examples which we cannot uh, go through due to the lack of time but uh, here uh, by this we can see that in the scriptures uh, so much importance is uh, given and the best example uh, we know is uh, shila prabhupad we know that uh, for this words uh, especially uh, shila prabhupad says uh, here let me move this vyavasayatmika buddhi one pointed intelligence is required for success Shila Prabhupada once told his disciples that in the 1950s before he spread Krishna consciousness throughout the world he read the commentary on this verse 2.41 written by Shila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur he said he was struck by the commentary which further fixed him in his resolve to follow Shila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's order to preach Krishna consciousness in English Shila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur writes of all kinds of intelligence the best is intelligence focused in bhakti yoga in bhakti yoga once intelligence becomes single pointed or fixed in determination one thinks the instructions of my spiritual master to worship the personality of godhead by chanting remembering serving his feet and so on are my only sadhana my only sadhya my only livelihood i am capable of giving up these instructions either in the stage of practice or in the stage of perfection they alone are my object of desire and my only responsibility besides them i can desire no other responsibility not even in my dreams it is all the same to me whether i feel happy or unhappy or whether my material existence is eradicated or not so here we can see the will of the lord is the will of the devotee whatever krishna wants devotee happily accepts and the instructions of guru maharaj uh, we can see here and krishna reveals his will through spiritual master and shila prabhupad took shila bhakti siddhan saraswati thakur's instruction to write the books in english language and preach in the west he took this instruction as life and soul and he followed this instruction and made an extraordinary success shila prabhupad has given us all instruction and our diksha guru our spiritual master they are all giving the same instruction the way we have to become devotees we all have to love krishna and help others in loving krishna we have to figure out what is best way to serve in this mission with best of our abilities and talents uh, we have to purify ourselves and benefit the world uh, we can uh, chant the holy names we can learn and study the scriptures in devotees association we we should distribute the books of shila prabhupada and we can do all this from where we are uh, because in the verse uh, krishna says a ke ha guru nandana where you are there you uh, follow the instructions of guru maharaj because you are serving his vani not vapu it's not like the where maharaj goes you go it is no the vani is there the sound vibration is flowing that is the directly coming from krishna through guru that's why the instruction guru vani is so heavy so uh, that's what i just basically wanted to say and i just wanted to give an example that like how in a ship there is an anchor when there is a storm this anchor uh, saves the ship in the same way uh, we should also keep our anchor firmly fixed in guru and krishna then despite the multifarious circumstances that come in our life we will remain fixed and steady so um, this anchor is our guru our uh, krishna and following his words and that is vyavasayatmika buddhi one pointed intelligence that's what this verse is uh, for you know mentioning that uh, we have to be very resolute in our purpose and 
because Maya is very strong basically so if we have we are firm in our uh, fixed in our anchor then maya will not the, the storm of maya in, in this material world will not um, sway us away so that was the whole uh, main thing about uh, this was that i wanted to discuss and um, if you have any reflections or um, uh, yes, oh, thank you. There is thank you, Hema Mataji, for the encouragement. Uh, and uh, yes, so any reflections? Uh, we can do the reflective exercise or any questions I can or any comments. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna, Hema Mataji, Danutana. Thank you for a wonderful class. Um, so I was just thinking of Veva Satmika Buddhi and uh, being tunnel vision. Uh, there's such a contrast between material material uh, world and uh, spiritual uh, targets because in the spiritual uh, in the material world being tunnel vision is kind of a negative quality that one would have mm. you know it's, it's classified as just being not not being um, um, a broad-minded and not being lateral thinking whereas mm. in the in the spiritual life it's so important to be goal focused and tunnel vision so it's quite interesting the contradiction and i could relate to your first image where all these lateral thinking with all these media social media and all that people are being so diverted and um, um, uh, you know all over the place um, whereas it's so important to be tunnel tunnel visioned and particularly in your spiritual life so yeah i think this is a distraction model very distractive model whereas the spiritual model is so focused and so so amazing you know it, it helps you to actually um, progress in your path rather than this, this uh, distraction model where you're all over the place. And that's why I think focusing becomes quite difficult in the material world. I just wanted to add one more example, which is my kind of role model, is Sabri Mataji, Sabri, who yes. for hundreds of years just had so much faith in her guru's instructions and just nobody to watch her, nobody to be kind of showing off to. She just did her task and waited for Sri Ram to arrive at the ashram. And yes, wonderful examples you gave, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you, Emma Mataji. Yes, I really like both of your um, uh, reflections, and I would like to repeat those uh, so that uh, my understanding is clear. And you said that it's so true that in this material world, actually having a tunnel vision is not uh, uh, being uh, encouraged because we are supposed to be doing so many things, achieving so many things, and that's where the Maya drifts us away. Uh, but whereas in the spiritual world, uh, this kind of tunnel vision or focused is actually encouraged. Um, so yes, this is a very good reflection, but at the same time, we can see that we are so, so fortunate uh, that uh, there is uh, a lot of variety even in our Krishna consciousness, isn't it, Hema Mataji? Because there is um, uh, so many scriptures, because if you start to read or study Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, all the books of Srila Prabhupada, the whole lifetime sometimes feels like it's not enough. So, and there are so many services that we can do and so many festivals. And so even though it is very focused, there is within that a lot of variety and a lot that can be done, but our focus remains one, which is as per this verse and Srila Prabhupada is serving Gurudev, which is ultimately serving Krishna because he uh, is uh, the medium, he is the representative. So yes, that's how, but, uh, but very, very nice. And Shabri's example, yeah, I totally agree with, wow. Shabri, what she did, uh, the, the amazing exalted devotee of Lord Ram. So thank you for those. Um, uh, yes, very nice, Mataji. And uh, let me see, I think, is there a question in the chat? Okay, let's have a look. Very nice. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Krishangi Mataji, Falguni Mataji, for the encouragement. Oh, thank you. Okay, so is there any other question or reflections? Uh, because um, eight forty-five, we can end. I'd like to stick to time. But if there is any question or any more reflections, uh, because this was there was a lot to cover actually. Um, so I tried to concise it in three points, um, but mainly also there is one more thing here, which uh, we can say that the one who takes to this process, he has no obligations uh, to the material world and uh, does not endeavor for fruitive activities. So um, I, I was thinking, wow, this is a very, very 
um, deep that the one who has taken this uh, process. And then today I got this uh, really nice uh, class by Srila Prabhupada. And um, it, I got this today and this is what I was thinking about that. How is this so? And because there seems to be no question, maybe I can just read out word to word from Srila Prabhupada. Thank you, Nitai Mataji, for your uh, encouragement. So there is, um, let me have a look, it's in my phone. It's very nice uh, what is written. I'm just trying to find. Okay. Vaishnava is he, devotee is he who is very compassionate to these conditional souls. Kripa Sindhubya Evacha. Kripa means mercy and Sindhu means ocean. A devotee is ocean of mercy. He wants to distribute the mercy. So, um, okay, take care of. Uh, Hmm. Devotee wants to take care of others also. The other should be God conscious. Others should be Krishna conscious. Devotee, um, he was forbidden by the king not to do that. So at the risk of his life, he did it. And then that is the nature of devotee. Okay, so here Srila Prabhupada talks about Jesus Christ then. He says, therefore, the preacher devotee is most dearest devotee of the Lord. That is stated in Bhagavad Gita. They are going outside, they are preaching, they are meeting opposing elements. So here Srila Prabhupada is talking about distribution of books, which all of you are so engaged in uh, so wonderfully. Sometimes uh, Srila Prabhupada says, sometimes they are defeated, sometimes disappointed, sometimes able to convince. There are different kinds of people. So not that every devotee is well equipped. There are three classes of devotees also. But that endeavor that I shall go and preach Krishna consciousness is the best service to the Lord because they are trying in opposition to elevate people to the highest standard of self-realization. So this is about book distribution. Uh, such encouraging words from Srila Prabhupada. And then he says, so one who has seen this, one who is in trance of self-realization, he cannot sit idly. He must come out. He just like Ramanujacharya, he declared the mantra publicly. His spiritual master said that this mantra, just like that Mahashi came in your country, he wanted to give some private mantra. If that mantra has any power, why it should be private? If at all the mantra has any, why not it should be publicly declared so that everyone can take advantage of that mantra? That is real. It is... Um, that is real. So here there is no cheating process. We say that this Mahamantra can save you. We can dis we are distributing publicly, free, without any charge. But people are so fools, they are not prepared to take this. They will hanker after that mantra, after Maharishi, pay $35 and take some private mantra. So people want to be cheated. And here Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Maha these people are preaching without any charge, declaring in the street, park, everywhere. Come on, take it. Oh, this is not good. This is Maya. This is called illusion. This is spell of Maya. And if you charge something, if you bluff, if you cheat, oh, people will follow. Sacha bole to mare latha, jutha, jagat, gurai, dhanna, kali, yuga, duk, lalge, Espai. This is a Hindi verse by one devotee that this Kali Yuga is so abominable that if you speak truth, then people will come with some rod to beat you. But if you cheat them, bluff them, they will be bewildered. They will like it. If I say I'm God, people will say, oh, here is Swamiji, God. They won't inquire that. How you have become God? What is the symptom of God? Have you got all the symptoms? Nobody inquires. So these things happen. Unless one is not fixed up in the self, unless one does not understand what is real self, unless one does not understand what is super self, so yoga means to understand this self-realizing process. That is yoga. So that was the Srila Prabhupada's uh, uh, lecture transcription on um, Bhagavad Gita 625 to verse 29, Los Angeles, 18th February 1969.
but uh, he said so beautifully about uh, everybody that uh, about especially about the book distribution that even if you get demotivated uh, th there are many experiences you will have you still do it and that's how you are benefiting humanity at large so if you have taken up this process means this is full in itself there is no other obligation left to anyone uh, yes Jay Hare Krishna, sorry. Um, I just wanted to say that um, for me, the key takeaway point from uh, from the class today was about um, Arjuna and him only seeing the eye. Because yeah. even in the in the material world, in the corporate world, um, you know, we get distracted with the phones, what other people are doing, whether they're doing something or not, instead of just focusing on our own job sometimes. So yes. I think that is, I'm going to take this away as something that maybe I can just keep on my desk now. <laughs> That's very nice uh, realization and uh, reflection, Chetna Mataji. Thank you so much. Yes, Arjuna is very, very much fixed in his goal. And he, has a, he was the best student. And this happened that he was the best archer because of his faith in his guru, Dronacharya. So it, go, it goes back to the same principle of uh, complete faith and resolute determination in the words of our guru and trying to follow his instruction. And that way, yasmin tushte jagat tushtam. <laughs> if we will satisfy guru, Krishna will be happy. Krishna is happy, the whole world is happy. <laughs> so if uh, there are no more comments or realization, then we can end here. It is 8.46. Yeah. Okay, so thank you for coming dedicatedly to chat class and um, uh, we conclude this session by Vaishnava Pranam. So let us pay our obeisances to Vaishnava devotees who are just like desire trees. They are full of compassion on fall, fallen conditioned souls. Pancha Kalpataru Vyascha, Kripa Sindhu Vyavacha, Patita Nam, Vaishnavi, Ananta Koti Vaishnav Vrindi Ki Jai, Shila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji, very nice class. Thank you. Wonderful class. Thank you Mataji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna everyone, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji.